trending each other. You be doing TI. everyone we're playing Fate Stella for the first time since the last shark week uh, I need to make sure that other stuff is on you know like the background audio for some reason the background audio isn't on I the setup for yesterday's in-person stream was a uh, interesting to say the least so I, I think I fixed it I think something's popping up. I've also got to adjust the webcam, holy shit. <laughs> Either it got shorter between setting up and now, or possibly the webcam went down. <laughs> nice to see you, Crystal. Nice to see you, Marcus. I'll get your drinks in one sec. Nice to see you, Bandicoot, as well. There we go. Alright, so I owe Marcus a tea drink and an actual water drink. Good way to start. Alright, so for those of you who don't know, uh, this channel was started because of Fate Stay Night, a visual novel that's Marvelous. very popular in Japan. Among other places. Uh, features... I mean, anime versions of, like, historical and fictional characters, like... Emperor Nero... Uh, yeah, Emperor Nero Claudius of Rome. Uh, and King Arthur. Both as cute anime girls. So, to honor that legacy, I, I guess would be the way to say it, is, uh, we're playing this once a year. Ah, oh, congrats on your Raiko, Marcus. Nice to see you, Trump. New content added to the gallery. Neat. I don't know which character it's been a year, but... Wait. Okay. I can't do Story of Caster, so we gotta do Story of Saber. Now, I don't remember how to play this game. I'm pretty sure it's just like every other Warriors game. So I should be able to figure it out. There's Nero. I think I might be able to give her, like, a new outfit. Ah, she's taking a second. Wow, that's a Jacko Valentine costume. That was, that was a very deep v neck. That's cute. Ever seen the silly video on YouTube, Pokemon Coliseum? Yes, I have. Oh, We're gonna go with the Rose Ball again, though. Uh, but yeah, no, the, uh... The dedicated soldier Umbreon and the incredibly nervous and rational Vespion is, uh... Mwah. Ah, that sucks, doesn't it? That crafty little... I, l I like that fox, though. No need to worry. If she can take our hand, we can take it back. 
She might think she owns her half, but we'll show her how wrong she really is. Nah, I like her treachery though. So, I guess, a bit of a recap. Uh, from what I remember. So, mages exist, and magic exists, and they also like computers. There's a big supercomputer on a moon, and like on the moon. And a bunch of mages uploaded their consciousness to the supercomputer, and then had a battle royale to get the Holy Grail. Uh, our character won that battle royale, and now runs the moon supercomputer. Uh, and that that was pretty chill for a while. That was that was a neat thing that happened. Uh, but then at some point, something caused him to split into three parts. Uh, I want to say it's like his body, his mind, and his soul. Uh, and the part, the different parts of him were split between servants, which are the incarnations of heroes long gone. So the servant that we have is Emperor Nero Claudius, and that fox that Nero mentioned was Tamamo no Mae, a kitsune spirit uh, from Japanese folklore. Which, scary enough, she was sealed in a rock. And you could go visit that rock in real Japan. And that rock last year was split in two. So T Tamamo escaped. She's gone. Maybe you could try not killing people? You're right. Torture is a much better way to get information. That's not what I said. <laughs> yeah. She's not going to shake me. I know Saber's the right person to wear the regalia. And I know Saber's going to win. Caster doesn't stand a chance against her. So yeah, uh, in the Fate series, uh, there are like seven classes with, a, with an asterisk. There's Saber, Archer, Lancer. Uh, Rider, Caster, Assassin. And the other one. Rider, Caster, Assassin. Fuck. <laughs> and the and the and the seventh one. This is gonna bother me. I'm gonna look it up. I God, of course I would forget the, the last one. Face series classes. Saber, Archer, Lancer, Rider, Caster, Assassin, Berserker, that's the one that I was, uh, missing. And then a bunch of, like, extra classes that don't really matter. So, they get their power from, like, their true name, because they're famous historical figures, right? So if you know who they are, you'll know their weakness. Like, if you have Achilles, you know, you might not visually recognize Achilles, but if you know who he is, you can aim for the ankle. So instead, they just use their class's name to keep their identity secret. So our girl Nero is the saber class. She uses a sword. Uh, and then Tamamo is caster. Cute Power Rangers theme music. Hey, you've got a power and a force like you've never seen before. Hey, nice to see you, Daybreak. Yeah, happy Shark Week, everyone. Or they use nicknames, yeah. Okay. Let's go to war. Her words echo throughout the room. Her declaration, her real name. 
an ally I could never forget. We fought together, we survived together, and through it all we held each other. The Emperor of Roses, Nero Claudius. Centuries ago, the citizens of ancient Rome showered her with praise and applause. And here we are, fighting together again. Nothing can come between us, no matter who we're up against, even if it's me. All I care about is being with her. Honestly, that's all that's keeping me moving. Neat. Anyways, let's fight. Stage select! Alright, let's start the second stage. Currently level 4. Recommended, level 4. Nice. Yeah, Battle for the Moon's Holy Grail, which can grant any wish. Victors also obtain the authority to use the Moon Cell, which can create an ideal future. That was Supercomputer. And that was, that was Fade Extra. The last game. Those are some losers that we have to... Destroy。Thinking back, like two years ago, I played Fate Stay Night, and that launched this uh, entire channel. And it, it wasn't even just that, it was the last chapter of Fate Stay Night, because I played the first two, and I live-tweeted my experience, and then people were just like, hey, you should stream this. It was a pain to set up the stream, though. And, uh, so Fate Stay Night was actually originally a hentai game that was just, like, decently written and got really popular, and then they kind of just ditched the hentai part. So th this game has interesting beginnings. Pe people were more interested in the story than the lewd scenes. People people read it for the articles. <laughs> Pouring mana into the Regali. Since I'm fused with the ring, I can easily visualize how to do that. I wrap around Saber's finger and move as close to her as possible. I try to imagine the paths of intertwined circuits, the ring connected to Sable, myself. I lay my breathing over hers. I lay my mana over hers. And... I do this. Y'all remember Sailor Moon? Okay. Th this is something that I wasn't 100% sure about. Definitely a warrior's game, that's for sure. Wouldn't say they well no, but it's it's taking a back seat, you know. Like, I remember we were playing the game on stream. And I forgot to turn off the uh, the NSFW scenes. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna say up front. They they weren't they weren't incredibly well written. I think part of that was the reason that like people like the story a bit more. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure I can figure this out. I've been playing Fire Emblem Warriors uh, Three Hopes. 
so I got the warrior genre kind of kind of going still. Oh boy. Okay, so Medusa is a very, very scary servant. Uh, this thing is called Bloodport Andromeda. And it basically turns people into a puddle of blood. If you don't have the ability to withstand huge bursts of, like, magical energy, then you just collapse and, well, you just basically liquidate. Objectives and targets. So, do objectives. Okay, so it's a... Oops, sorry, it's a green outline. Like here, where I am, conveniently. So yeah, essentially in this game, I need to capture areas uh, in order to progress. Uh, that way I can turn the tide of battle in my favor and win the day. Where, where's the enemy commander? Oh good, our boy Colin is uh, kicking some ass. Hey, what's uh... Oh, it was up here the entire time. I forgot I could jump. <laughs> the word danger appears on the enemy force's rank. If I don't take over an enemy sector, I'm fucked. I'm in danger. Ah, fuck, where are you? Okay, cool, and pulled through. Thank you. Being in danger isn't fun. I don't like riding into the danger zone. Oh yeah, I killed a thousand people already. What an achievement. I think I won. I, I think doing the super cool move was enough to to make them take a second look at their lives. All right. So if you get a favorable turn, get get enough of those, and you're good, you're doing good. But you can turn for the worse, apparently. So let, let's avoid turns for the worse. Alright, I, 
don't, I don't care about you guys. Yeah, can I speak to your manager, please? Oh, yes. I love Petra Boxes. Actually, since we're playing a Japanese game, what are you guys' favorite things to order from Japanese restaurants? Before the stream yesterday, we all went to ramen. And, uh, my, my favorite type of ramen is Kanten Men, which is like spicy, spicy ramen with like pork belly. But my favorite stuff to order from a Japanese restaurant is usually like Japanese curry. I have a feeling I can't do this yet. I'm playing DVD while listening. Enjoy DVD! Depending on if he's screaming today, we might be raiding a Dead by Daylight stream. The streamer I really like, his name is Zan. Uh, I used to watch him on YouTube. He was friends with the Game Drops. And he made some really good content. Alright. There's something I'm missing. I'm missing this guy. But let's deal with this guy. There we go. It's blue, which means I'm good. This is my house now. I should probably go, like, down there. Seems you made a mistake. Let me help you out. Ah, you're a big boy, aren't you? Oh, it's Lubu. Lubu is usually depicted as like a crazy guy, but he was like one of the. I, I wouldn't say like most powerful necessarily, but he was like one of the stars of the Three Kingdoms period in Chinese history. Oh, jeez. Yes, I will heal. There we go. I can't beat up Blue Boo just yet. I gotta take care of the uh, the spooky blood fort that's going on. Yeah, that sounds about right. Sorry, Alicia, but... That's my B. <laughs> okay, we need to take care of this sector in order to dispel the blood for that drop. Ah, oh, and there's an invasion going on. This is going poorly for me. Yeah, there's an active enemy invasion. I can't. I, I get that game. Thank you. Oh, 
Alright, I need I need to see the manager of this area, please. And I just have to kill enough people. Fate Warriors is a bit harder than Fire Emblem Warriors. <laughs> Yeah, I am struggling. Thank you, game. Did I capture this area? Not yet. Heck. Feels like I didn't even make a dent. guys. We might not be winning this one. Oh yeah, it appears our armies are under attack. How, how'd you get that? Huh? How'd you figure that one out? I got this sector. I need to go back to the first one I beat because somebody took it over. If I pretend to be confident, maybe we can turn this around. I got I gotta really, really act my heart out. Is he right? Yeah, I got I got a Hayaku. Absolutely. All right. This is the bitch that I got to kill. Another one that I have to kill here. Okay, I think I got it. Nope, not yet. Yeah, I'm struggling. Excuse me, my good bitch. Shin Deku decide. Just lost Raika. Well, you know the rules, you gotta release it. Back into the wild. It's a, it's a lesson to be learned. Never put the ones you love in the front lines of battle. Put them in death box? That's fair. Okay. Now th this place got recaptured. 
味方が襲われているな防衛に向かうぞそうしよ Well that's how that's how crits work, right? Crits by definition are bullshit. It is being a goddamn legendary don't mean shit when you get crit. Now, unless you have the sturdy ability, I would say. So the sturdy ability leaves you with one HP if you get crit one shot. Person I can speak to the captain of the sector. Are you down here? God, I've been in danger for this entire map. Alright, maybe I just have to eviscerate more people. I got this. Damn straight, I do, Trump. I just have to get rid of this blood port. Then the sky won't be as spooky. There we go. I'm still in danger though. Yeah, you didn't make it easy for me, buddy. Alright, now I have to kick Lubu's ass. Which, which would be a feat in and of itself. You have shit creek, huh? I hear ya. Entire creek of shit. Okay, how, how do I lock up? Uh oh. Okay, when I press minus during a stage, I get the command seal. Uh, so, Fate Lore. When you're the master of a servant, you got a, a cool little tattoo somewhere on your body. Uh, and it has three par uh, parts. It's called a command seal. And you can use the command seal to pull off some bullshit. Whether it's like, oh no, my servant has been stabbed through the heart. Yeah? Well, I'm gonna use three of my command seals and she's fine now. Or like, oh shit. I'm I'm about to be stabbed in the heart, and my servant's on the moon. Come over here, servant. <laughs> Legitimately though, I'm just trying to figure out how to lock. On. How do I lock on? Man seal, regime matrix. There's only one servant that command seals don't work on, that's Medea. There we go. Lock is okay. That, that wasn't doing anything, but okay. Alright, 
Alright, where's Lubu? That's not Lubu. Alright, I can't micromanage my, my boys. Oh, I am in extra danger. That's all right. Lubu should be like, oh, there he is. Hi. I'm gonna turn to a magical girl now, please. Pressing A will perform a guard break attack, penetrating the servant's defenses and dealing damage. Guard break can be used repeatedly while in this mode. Alright. Where are you, Lubu? Okay, well, that was a tactical retreat. Definitely meant to do that. Here, I'm, I'm gonna play as Archer for a second. Archer has some really cool lore. That would be major spoilers for Fate Stay Night, so I'm not going to get too into it. All I'll say is that he is... He is a hero that was manufactured by the world. So he can appear in various different times and places. This ain't going so well. I beat Lubu. That's, that's good. So, this guy's ability, even though he's an archer, uh, is actually to manifest different weapons that are in his memory. So he's able to, like, replicate, though imperfectly, like, Excalibur, uh, Gay Bowl, uh, Aegis Shield. Yeah, he literally recreates them, but he... The, the reason I said manifest from memory is because he has to know the, intric uh, the intricacies and inner workings of everything that he creates. Like, if he wants to make a Glock, he would have to understand how the Glock works, how it, it's put together, the mechanisms behind it. 
If you watch My Hero Academia, uh, he's like that girl who can pull weapons out of her body. Except, I, I don't believe he necessarily needs, like, the alchemical ingredients. Yeah. It's a really good line. That's right, screw you, plant. Wait a minute. You're still alive! Oh, good on you. Okay, I captured that sector. I do I use my Noble Phantasm again? I feel like maybe I need to use that. Nope. Can't use it yet. Let's just do this. He can turn anything he holds into Excalibur? That's crazy. Okay, plan. Come on. Can't surpass the original Excalibur, though. Even if you were to hold it. Interesting. Okay. So, I, I'm out of danger right now. Somehow, I've been able to turn this ever so slightly in my favor. I love shonen anime is because since it's been so played out already you have to get creative in order to survive as a property baseball bat that sounds about right that's great Oh, I see the plant. Hey, let me get to this plant, please. Oh, no, you don't. Get a bat. So if he held a, if he held a Gatling gun, did he turn into an Excalibur? What if he held it like a sword? Not not like a gun, but like a sword. <laughs>
That'd be something archers could probably do. I mean, so in in big grand order, I have summer uh, summer Artoria, and she's an archer, and she has a water gun. And one thing that she does is she sticks Excalibur in the front of the water cup. It amplifies power. Game's trying to nerf me by turning off my controller. I get you. Can't win fairly. That's just how it goes. Yeah, I've got Napoleon as well. I don't really use him though. My uh, my Artoria archer is a lot better. And also, I have Napoleon. Set. I I was like you, Marcus, though, with the uh, with the free five star service. I I wasn't friends enough with Tomomo to keep her, so she disappeared. Raising that bond level was hard. No, you don't. Nero's incredibly underpowered. Well, she's a four-star servant. She gets more powerful when she's a bride. I know it's not necessarily directly comparable, but in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, even weak stands have development potential stat. So they have the potential to become stronger, even if they're weak. A good example is the stand Echoes. Uh, it starts as an egg, and it sucks. Uh, then it turns into like this little baby stand, and as it progressively gets uh, Stronger, its development potential decreases as its power increases. Doesn't count as its executed simulation, so I'm gonna go with real one. Okay. Okay, I can't heal anymore though. Which is pretty lame. Okay. So I just have three sectors I need to take. I I'm turning this battle around, guys. You were correct to believe in me. Do I play Dead by Daylight as well? No, uh... I, I don't own it, and it, it's never really come up. It seems like a really, really fun game. But, uh... God, I, <laughs> I got so much to play. I just never, uh... Never had the motiva uh, motivation to pick it up. I love watching people play it, though. Yeah. 
I especially love the uh, the care that they take, not only in their own lore, but with the uh, properties that they have available to them. Like the fact that uh, the Cenobite has the uh, Lamech configuration as an item in his uh, in the map when you choose him is really really cool. to understand, but people can have different uh, levels of toxicity that they can tolerate. Like the escape room aspect and helping others? Yeah! Like, I, I have a high tolerance for toxicity personally. Like, if someone's being toxic to me, I can usually brush it off. But if somebody is being toxic to another player, then that's what really sets me off, you know? Like, just because I can handle people being shitty doesn't necessarily mean that uh, other people should have to. Sure, it's Zanalda. He plays a lot of uh, Dead by Daylight, and uh, I really, really like him. He's, uh, he's a cool dude. Really chill vibes. Marcus. 
I can think of some instances where stuff is in the game that isn't meant to be used. It's just players were creative enough to find utility for stuff that the developers weren't, like, didn't intend. And at that point, it's an ethical question of do you reward the players by keeping it? Or if it ruins balance enough, do you remove the ability to do so? I I'm not saying in specific, uh, in your specific instance with uh, Mason Baba, that's what happened. But just because it's in the game doesn't necessarily mean that developers meant for it to be there. That's, that's why balancing is a thing, right? So, like, if a tactic is ruining the game for people, the developers will usually balance it out to make it less desirable to use. So, if a tactic is still feasible, either it'll... become, like, a main part of the game. Or, the developers just haven't patched it out yet. What are metas? Uh, so a meta game is basically the, uh, the most efficient way of playing something. Uh, common strategies that are used in order to basically be the best at the game. Uh, as an example, Uh, the DLC character Joker in, uh, in Super Smash Brothers. Uh, he's part of the meta because, because of his, uh, skill set and because of how people are using him, he's very effective against a large roster, uh, a large amount of the roster. Oh, hey, Medusa. I should probably do something about you, huh? Some stuff is cool, others not sure that's effective. Like you can share first cross character panels. Interesting. I think it's a good mechanic to incentivize building uh, characters that you might not necessarily play as a lot. To kind of make people choose stuff that they might not necessarily use. Because if everyone's playing the same character, it gets kind of boring. I just vaporized Medusa. <laughs> now it's her turn to vaporize me.
we go. Bye, Medusa. Hey guys, we we turned that shit around super hard. I was in danger for like half that map. <laughs> Took me 41 minutes, but we did it. <laughs> and we doubled our level, too. Not bad for having not played this game in a year, though. I'm doing okay. Oh, yeah, so my character is the guy on the left in the white robe. That's that's who you're playing as. means you were in crit not necessarily i was level four and the game said that it was recommended for level four i just chose normal mode <laughs> do you use borrowed time a lot as meg because it's a little helpful mainly because you found that you would get left by other survivors on first hook you didn't have it yeah and that's the thing there, there's a bit of a difference, not not a huge difference, between toxicity and not being welcoming to new players. Like, it, it, it's toxic to not be welcoming to new players, but it, it's something that a lot of people will do, even if they're usually not too bad. <laughs> Like, uh, when, when the, when Dead by Daylight came out, I'm sure that, you know, everyone was just learning stuff, but now that everyone sort of knows the game, uh, there's a, a certain skill level where if you're playing with other people, uh, people get frustrated if you don't know certain strategies, and it, it kind of, how, how can I explain it? The way that matchmaking in a game works should be... And, and this is just what the common one is, uh, skill-based. Uh, where, depending on how good you are at the game, or how long you've been playing, it'll match you up with people of a similar skill level, so that you can, uh, have a chance, and you can learn together and stuff like that. People blame you for what you did and how you play. Do you go on Survivor and the killer will bitch about not being able to... anything? Too bad as a Survivor and it's your teammate's fault? And, yeah, that's a big problem if it's based on your character. So, yeah, the community can be toxic and it can also be unwelcoming to new players, but it's not mutually exclusive. It, it, like, it's not too hard to pick up League of Legends, but fuck is that game toxic. Or, like, it, it's not really easy to pick up a lot of, uh, fighting games, but... Uh, well, actually, I won't, I won't go into fighting games. The community there is pretty toxic, too. Uh, Final Fantasy XIV has a lot of mechanics that seem kind of overwhelming at first. But the community is really, really good at bringing you through that game. So, Final Fantasy XIV is very welcoming to new players, it just takes some time to figure out. Yeah, the Dark uh, The Dark Souls series has some really dark spots, like some really toxic spots about not playing it right. But in general, dark, the Souls series is really welcoming. Yeah, which is why I say dark spots. Like, wh when it comes to PvP, absolutely. But P yeah, PvE is wholesome. Anyone heard of Secret of Nim? Hell yeah. 
I read that book in elementary school, and we watched the movie. And I didn't realize until a little bit later that there was a second one. It wasn't as good. Secret of Nim 2 wasn't, wasn't nearly as good as the original. It also threw me off how they changed the name between the book and the movie. So in the in the book, I believe she's called Mr. Uh, Mrs. Frisbee, and in the uh, in the movie, she's called Mrs. Frisbee. Ah, Tamamo Land, hell yeah. Tamamo? You can find Tamamo Land right beside Polnareff Land. That's a JoJo reference for you, for you connoisseurs out there. Hi. <笑>何がたまもし入りおいきだか。おかしいたらないわ。セラフの全ては私のものよ。たまも願いよ。何それ美味しいのって話。ウィザードもサーバントもないわ。ありとあらゆる知性体は私だけを見て私だけを称えて
I can't think of any specific ones, but there's a very high chance that this game shares some artists, just because of the vast scope of the series. She can't take the compliment. Influenced by Battle Royale games like Fortnite and Apex? That sounds about right. It, it was only a matter of time for Kamen Rider to do a Battle Royale style thing again. Uh, they did it with Kamen Rider Ryuki, they did it with Kamen Rider Gaim. Uh, Battle Royale is just a genre that works really well in a lot of different situations. I I wouldn't count Geo as a battle royale in the same vein as uh, Ryuki and uh, Gaim. Like, Kamen Rider Ryuki had like 13 different riders all actively trying to kill each other. Throughout the entirety of the series. Uh, maybe, maybe those specials, Marcus, but not not Geo as in general. Like, uh, the, the Battle Royale aspect is intrinsic to Ryuki and Gaim's identity. Whereas you can cut out the, uh, the Battle Royale aspect of Geo and it would still be Geo. Wow. Don't, don't tear my limbs off, please. いや、それは無理なのだぞ。レガリアは世のものだし、奏者も世のものだしの。そのあたり理解するがよい。For about a million? Yeah, most rad. Oh, for the winter movie, yeah. The one where Geats is in front and then uh, Revy and Vicer to each side. That one's really nice. What, what are you making bigger? Sorry, Dark Alley, but you can't. When heroic spirits are first created, they're already given their ideal form. No matter how much you may grow as a person, you will never grow in that way. No, you don't. So please don't tear me limb from limb, please. Alright, well, go, go kill Zeus. Dark Alley. Great King of Terror? Why does that sound familiar? And Mars? Why did she specifically reference Mars? Nero, you're the Emperor of Rome. Mar Mars, you borrowed from the Greeks. It's one of your gods, buddy. Oh, the Great King of Terror, never mind. Yeah, who, who the hell is that? Really recommend Amphibia? Yeah, I think you and Pepper Shaker both really, really like it. Sunawachi, 
I haven't had a chance to watch a lot of Western animation recently. Even even anime. <laughs> the, I, I think the only anime that I watched through this year was Konosuba. Oh? <laughs> I'm glad that Western animation is sort of having a resurgence. It feels like it comes in waves, like it gets really big and then it, uh, it kind of peters out for a bit with uh, some low quality stuff and then some good shit comes out again. Bad Disney Plus has all three seasons. I still have my free week trial of Disney Plus. And me. I'm probably gonna buy the belt, to be honest. The Desire Driver looks really, really cool. Do it to watch Amphibia? Maybe. We'll see when I have time to watch stuff, because uh, this month coming up is going to be really, really busy for me since I have to move by December. Sorry, not December, September. Increases movement speed. Sure. Oh, actually, no, lightning damage sounds nice. I heard of Black Summoner on Crunchyroll. Uh, recently returned to the subscription service, and a friend recommended it. Black Summoner, let's check it out. Let's take a quick look. Summoner, you said, right? Let's, uh, let's read a quick recap. It's based on a light novel, which is really interesting. Light novels usually have anime created for them, uh, and go really hard. Like, uh, that time I got reincarnated as a slime fucking slaps. Waking up in a strange new place with no memory of his past life, Kelvin learns that he's bartered away those very memories in exchange for powerful new abilities during his recent transmigration. Heading out into a new world as a summoner, with his first follower being the very goddess who brought him over. Okay, so it's Konosuba. <laughs> Kelvin begins his new life as an adventurer, and it isn't long before he discovers his hidden disposition as a battle junkie. From the Black Knight of the Ancient castle of evil spirits to the demon within the hidden cave of the sage he revels in the fight against one formidable foe after another 
Definitely better than the first. It's pretty funny in some spots. I'll, I'll have to check it out. It might satisfy, it might actually give me some ideas for Konosuba because their plots look pr uh, pretty similar. All you could think of was our current adventure? Absolutely. Which I, I'm so glad that you guys are enjoying Stream Sakai. Uh, last week, when we did Stream Sakai, I had nothing planned because I had been packing. And you guys absolutely gave me enough material to work with and give you guys a great session. So thank you so much for being good players. When, when you folks roleplay really well, I, I try to reward you, so, you know, that's why you got Circle of Flame and, uh, Picadon as your, as your attacks. The, the exact wording of the quest was like, you, you can give them a new spell if you want. And I, I think you, I, I think everyone worked really hard to make that session good, so I, I gave you guys that reward. Yeah, let's do it. So what's cool about Nero is that she really genuinely loves the player character. Like, she is in absolute love with, with you. Uh, because she absolutely loves beauty. And you're what's beautiful to her. She's also, like, really bi. So, no matter who the player character is, uh, she finds that beauty in them. And in other servants as well. I mean, it, it was ancient Rome, right? So, ancient Rome and ancient Greece, really gay. Uh, hope more people feel like voting because you don't want people to feel like you're taking over, but you're really enjoying it. That's good. Uh, who's watched Lightyear? Uh, I haven't had a chance to. I don't know if I'm going to go out and see it. I It doesn't really appeal to me. The premise is really interesting. The whole, like, uh, time dilation thing from doing the test flight. But, uh, uh I don't know if I'm going to go f uh, watch it. It's cool game default. Mm. Karagano <laughs> あの時は勢いよく口にしたが、ヨはまさしくソナタと一体となったのだ。この高ぶりが伝わるだろうか。そう考えると。So yeah, when we when we won the Holy Grail war for the moon, we got this ring. And uh we slapped it on Nero, so we literally put a ring on it. 感じたであろう? And that ring houses are very like being. So 
確かに世を包んだのだからそう思うとな高ぶってしまって今の動機が収まらぬそなたはどうだ I know exactly what she means. It's a unique sensation enveloping her very essence. And I did feel everything she felt. Her softness, her pulse burning from her bosom, every one of her movements in that intense battle, so hot, so alive, I felt every part of her. Every moment of that encounter is perfectly set in my memory now. When I think back, it's like touching her again. It's almost embarrassing to talk about. What happened, soldier? Why did you make such a mess? 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 When I see her blushing too, I find myself able to look back at her again. I hold her gaze and she holds mine. She must be nearly as flustered over sorry. She must be nearly as flustered over all of this as I am. Until we can be together again. In just that way. I'll have to endure our time apart. My memories will have to do for now. So yeah, since we've been split into three pieces, we're not entirely all together. I believe in this route, we're only, like, the body. We don't have the mind, we don't have the soul. She asked me how I'm feeling. I should tell her. I want to say I'm feeling wonderful, but as soon as I open my mouth, my vision tilts sharply and I fall unconscious. So this is one of the other me's talking to her. すべて違うものに測ったから私は誰も理解してはいけないし理解されてはいけないものだなのにお前は私を見つめてくるそれは不確かで不安で不快だ私はお前さえいなければ それを忘れないことだ、マスター。逆らうのなら私はお前であれ、容赦なく壊してしまう。そうだ。お前さえいなければいい。お前さえいなければ私はああ、全くいつこの夢は覚めるのか。Oh, Gilgamesh is absolutely the Dio of Faith. He... Well, actually, so Gilgamesh is really interesting because his character is like the OG hero, right? So he's got a big head. But there are different versions of him in different stages of his life. So, like, there's kid Gilgamesh that's young and naive, basically like a younger brother type. Uh, there's adult Gilgamesh, which is a fucking piece of sh He's the Dio of the Fate universe. Uh, the, the only character that I hate more in Fate Stay Night than Gilgamesh was Shinji. Uh, and then there's the third guy. There's Gilgamesh when he's wise when when he's traveled the world and experienced a lot of stuff and he chills the fuck out uh 
essentially he goes from being a kid to being an adult to being a, a sort of like ruler. Uh, yeah, Kid Gil, Goldie, and Caster. Yeah, ba based on the classic literature Gilgamesh, uh, there's like a ton of different uh, things represented in Fate. Like, uh, you have Abigail Williams. She was killed in one of the uh, Salem Witch Trials. Uh, she's actually the representative of, uh, like, H.P. Lovecraft's mythology. Uh, you have literally the Voyager space probe. Uh, you have King Arthur as a cute anime girl. Uh, what else? What are some good ones? You have Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes is really cool. Um, Katsushika Hokusai is the embodiment of Cthulhu. Yeah, uh, but Abigail Williams has, like, the other parts of the H.P. Uh, Lovecraft mythology as well. So, it's really... King Arthur? Yeah! Give me one sec. I'll, I'll show you, uh... I'll show you King Arthur. Display capture, if you please. I don't think it pleases. Give me one sec. I clicked the wrong one. There's the right one. So yeah, that's uh, that's King Arthur from the series. Abby's ba uh, based off of Yog Sothoth. Yeah. I actually, uh, for a Halloween one year, I drew Arena as a. Artoria. But she's really cool. I, I really like her design. Yeah. Jacques de Molay is Shub Nigurath. Okay. How should I answer that? All of a sudden, Saber was gone, and there was someone else in her place. I'm an adult guild says, yeah, no, I'm not. Right? That that would be the good timeline. A maiden in white, brown skin, thin figure, red eyes. Uh, that, the, the girl that appeared on the screen when we were having our, uh, brain problems, that was Attila the Hun. <laughs> warrior. That's how I could best describe her. She'd be right at home with a sword in her hand, just like Saber. I tell her everything right away, without holding back a single detail. I believe there's also, uh... Like, one of the famous executioners in the, uh, French Revolution. God, I forget his name. I, th I think it was, like, Sanson or something? Yeah. Charles-Henri Sanson. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde are represented as well. And what's really cool is, uh, so the Fate series got so popular in Japan, they advertised their original, uh, works with Fate characters. So you'll have, like, the, uh, the Ulster Cycle with that, with that picture of King Arthur, uh, I guess Artoria is her name in Fate. On top of it, it's like, hey, if you want to read her original story, here it is. That's right. Yeah, 
ゆえんしすし少女の姿といったところかいや、depends on the dub I prefer Artoria that, that rules off the tongue a bit better than Arthuria and Altria Yeah, I believe so I'm not cheating on you, Nero! All I can do is listen to Nan. Being with one girl and thinking of another is awful. Seriously. Does that really count as cheating? Uh, what do you guys think? What what should we say? Should we should we pursue this? Or should we realize that maybe there's other shit that we need to deal with? Waiting on resin to bake? Aw oh, man. Here, give me one sec. I just got a text. Don't do the cheating one. Aren't, aren't there more pressing matters? Aren't there other things we need to think about, Nero? For example, that memory I just witnessed from the Holy Grail War. It wasn't even the only thing I remembered. It, it doesn't make me happy to see you like this. Not, not only that, the, re the real Carson likes Tamamo more. So you're, you're playing with your ideal version of Carson that actually likes you better. That's, that's the worst thing that I could say in that situation. <laughs> <laughs> hey, th th this fake version of Carson is better than the, w the one that's playing it for you. <laughs> Gloved in the <laughs> <laughs> Resin can- Oh, yeah, no. I'm glad that you're following proper safety protocol for working with resin. It can really fuck you up with the fumes. And- and by touching it. Shinji is one of the most devious bastards in all- properties that I have witnessed. Shinji from Fate Stay Night and its other properties is such a despisable character that I think that villains should really strive to be as unlikable as Shinji. <laughs> Every incarnation of that character is the biggest bastard in its pro in its series. All timelines, yeah. If if you want to write a villain that is unredeemable, that sorry, irredeemable, that anyone who witnesses them would absolutely despise them, justifiably so, then take Shinji as inspiration. Shin Shinji from Fate is worse than Eric Sparrow from Tony Hawk's Underground. That, that's saying a lot. Without hesitation, I tell her, I don't want to make you cry. I don't ever want to make you cry. Oh, sorry, Bandicoot. It, it, it's a joke from a previous game that we played. 
essentially in a uh, in Tony Hawk's Underground, uh, Eric Sparrow is a uh, is your childhood friend that gets you into skateboarding, and then every time you're about to do something good, he sabotages your career along the way, uh, to the point where he goes pro, and you have to sign up for the pro tournament and beat him because he didn't sign you up for the tournament. Uh, he sabotages you on every step of the way. He steals your footage of you doing a trick, leaping between two hotels in Hawaii over a helicopter. And when you're signed to the same team and you have to do a skate competition in Russia, he gets drunk, steals a tank, you try to stop him, and then he uh, frames you, locks you in the tank, and you're thrown into Russian prison. When you finally get home to New Jersey, he challenges you to skate around your town and throws fire at you. Uh, that That's Tony Hawk's Underground. Shinji is from Fate. But yeah, the, the, the joke is that... Uh, the joke is that Eric Sparrow is a, is a one of the biggest villains in video games. <laughs> they they did such a good job making an unlikable character. And then Shinji from Fade did some unspeakable stuff, like some really hard shit that I would have to put put a warning on the stream about. I only feel this way for you, Saber. I stared deeply into her eyes without looking away. Yeah, Sh Shinji is one of the worst pieces of shit in any piece of media that I've witnessed. It is a testament to how good Kinoku, uh, Kinoku Nasu is at writing villains that I despise Shinji as much as I do. That would be so cathartic, Daybreak. If Shinji was the main villain of a crossover between a ton of different fate properties. I I think that would be a good culmination. Worst time to experience lag in this diving. Oof. Ah, yeah, that's me. I'm the disaster of fashion. Oh, absolutely, she could kick my ass. And rightly so. With, uh, with the line that I said earlier. We're, we're starting to, uh, find out why she loves us, though. Her tears have stopped. Thank goodness. Now we can both be at ease. I need a rest badly. Whole team of himself? Oh god, that would be the worst. That would be so good to see everyone, like all of him, just be destroyed, though. I like Spike's Beagle drum. I like a I like a girl who can kick my ass. Thanks for the drink, Bandicoot. But not just like in body. I I like I like girls who have a strong personality as well. Like I I like passion.
Giovanna from Strive. Got her. Yeah. I, I'm not as into Giovanna, to be fair. She's, uh, she doesn't have that passion. Right? Like, e even adult Gil, I'm pretty sure, despised Shinji and was just hanging out with him out of convenience. Which kind of goes to show how shitty Gilgamesh is, but... シンを自ら A good person wouldn't even use Shinji for his mana, you know? <laughs> they, they would rather pass into the ether than deal with Shinji. No, ab absolutely, which is why I say it's a testament to Gil's character. Is chaotic good? Well, okay, and, and this is part of the reason why the alignment chart is a guide and not like the be all and end all. I, I like the alignment chart as a reminder of how you want to play your character, but not their intrinsic values, you know? Shinji's goal could be erasing every timeline since they keep losing. That might be, that might be an interesting way to do it. But I, I don't know if uh, erasing every timeline would fit as well with his character, because he has such a big ego. I, I think erasing every timeline that uh, do doesn't result in an outcome that he favors would be a good way to put it. I, I know it's shitty to reference Rick and Morty, but they had a really interesting idea called the Central Finite Curve, where all of the Ricks isolated the timelines where they were the smartest being in existence, and made a, a barrier around it so that you couldn't travel to other timelines. And... That's something that the, the Shinji team would do. No chance of negotiation, huh? I feel a bit of hesitation. I know it's best to end the war as soon as possible, but it occurs to me that we should try talking to Castor before we attack her. Still, it's just a random thought, and deep down I know it wouldn't work, so I nod confidently at Saber's plan. <laughs> No, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I like Tamamo. Shinou, わが不安をお分かりいただきたい。以前彼の領域の周辺を私が偵察した折のこと強烈な魔力を感じ取りました。あれはまさしく。もったいぶるでな。まさしく。なんだというのだ。我が
相当に強力なサーバントそれも太陽に由来するものが待ち受けているはずケンオイどうか進軍にはご注意をミスターごと倒されては私たちの立場がありませんうんどこどちらの心配をしているのだ貴様はまあよい I'm trying to think of the servant who has the power of the sun. Is it a bottle of sunny dude? That'd be pretty powerful. New content added to the gallery. But that's going to be it for this year. Thanks everyone for hanging out for Fate Stella. Uh, we'll get back to that during Shark Week of 2023. <laughs> God, it's uh, it's really interesting to uh, to get back to Faith after so long. Uh, thank you very much to all of you guys for hanging out. Thank you to my patrons, Radiance and Trom. Uh, big thanks to Crystal and uh, Bandicoot for donating to the donation drive. Uh, I'm also releasing this bad boy today. I'm gonna post it on Twitter really quick, but uh, I made a, a new shirt for Shark Week. It features the entire Sunday Squad as crudely drawn versions. And also Angel's there, even though he didn't join us. But he was supposed to. Uh, it's on sale right now if you want it. Uh, it's like 14 bucks US, which isn't bad. Uh, I'll be back tonight with uh, <laughs> with the wacky world of miniature golf, narrated by Eugene Levy. Uh, it's an FMV game about miniature golf. Uh, Trevor's going to be hanging out with us. Uh, if you remember Trevor from the Ninja Turtles stream. Uh, on Wednesday evening, we're going to be playing Stray, that new cat game that came out with Aaron. I say we, Aaron's gonna be playing it, and I'm gonna be commentating. Aaron fucking loves cats, so. Uh, Friday is gonna be the watch party on the Discord. I didn't put it on the schedule, because uh, I didn't have room, but we're still doing it. Uh, Saturday, at uh, noon Pacific, we're hanging out with Aatrox and Puduk. Uh, if you remember them from uh, the Mario Party streams. Uh, Puduk is a fantastic artist, does a lot of... Uh, insect and venomous creature illustrations uh, and Aatrox is uh, really good at toon characters uh, and is an artist on uh, Skullgirls so definitely check out that stream they're fantastic folks I absolutely love the fact that I know them uh, in the evening we're going to be doing a hangout with the Fool's Gold crew uh, so we've got Dingo, Felix and Avery and then, possibly halfway through, uh, Julian's player might be joining us. After that, on Sunday at 5 p.m. Pacific, we're going to be re-watching all of Fool's Gold. Just all of it. It's going to be a long stream. I'm going to see if I can leave a voice chat open for uh, our friends to uh, join us. But yeah, we're gonna send a. Uh, we're gonna send you guys to Kobold Sprig. Uh, they're a Kobold VTuber. Uh, really, really. How can I explain it? They're wholesome. She's really, really wholesome. Uh, it looks like right now she's playing Sanctum 2, but she also plays uh, some tabletop stuff. So, give them a big old shark attack, and I'll catch you folks next time. See ya!
misclicked. Oh no. It's alright. I think if you stay on the uh, the stream, I'll be hosting Sprig, so. 